Greetings, Internet Drinking Buddies. My name is Link. The show's name is Tubbin and Chuggin. And on this episode, I'll be imbibing Haku Vodka. Welcome back to the tub, everybody. Now, obviously, during Advent, we had the Advent calendar of gin. Um, so I've been drinking a lot of gin recently. I'm trying to get a little bit off of that. More back into the vodka game. Get those clear spirits sort of mixed up. And so when I saw this guy on the shelf, which has been tempting me for a while, good Japanese vodka. I had to try it out, let you know what I think about it. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. Haku Vodka is made by Suntory, which, as you might be familiar with, they're a very prominent whiskey maker. They took a scotch championship in 2013 from other Scottish scotch makers, which is impressive on its own right. But they've been trying to get into other sort of areas for this kind of thing. They have a gin that they make, and they also have this vodka, Haku Vodka. Now, Haku is sort of short uh, in Japanese for Hakumai or white rice, which is what this is distilled from. 100% white rice that it's distilled from. A Little bit weird, you might think. You might think that a vodka is more of like a potato-based product, or maybe a grain product, which is often like vodka of the gods, but technically, vodka can be made from any grain, and so rice is perfectly acceptable to make it from. Now, it's filtered through bamboo charcoal, so you have all of these sort of classic Japanese elements going into it, right? The white rice, bamboo, charcoal coming together to form this sort of mid-upper tier product. So it's it's got me excited in a way for a vodka, which I normally don't get excited for as somewhat of a, a weeaboo, as they would uh, refer to me on the internet. Price-wise, it comes in at $27 a fifth. So as I mentioned, it's not like super high-end, but it's definitely above your, your sort of low, mid-tier kind of stuff, really reaching into that buzz for the buck territory. 40% uh, alcohol, clean as, as a normal vodka would be, translates to a dollar eighty a drink, so really not too expensive, but something that you got to think about when you buy it. Uh, firmly in that mid-tier, as I say. Uh, we're going to be drinking this out of a nice little Fuji shot glass I have. Obviously, got to got to represent Japan in this regard. Didn't really have like a a rice field shot glass that I could drink it out of, so this is gonna have to do. Uh, but let's go ahead and pour ourselves a shot. Now this Fuji shot glass is a little bigger than a normal shot glass, so we're probably gonna sip on this for the first little bit. Uh, I can't really think of any other cheers than Kanpai for any Japanese-based products, so that's what we're drinking to. taste the rice. You can taste the rice, which is fascinating in a way. It leads to this really clean finish that most vodkas lack. Most of the vodkas have like that sort of outgoing burn, at least on the, the sort of the cheaper stuff that you would normally get to. This, very clean. Different than a normal vodka. It begins as vodka, right? And it kind of exits as this like ricey aftertaste. It's, it's fascinating. Almost like a sake at the end with the, the rice sort of taste that you get from it. It's very distinctive. This is one of those ones, if we did a vodka taste test with this one, I'd be like, yeah, no, it's haku. It's like very distinctly haku as opposed to like, you know, a clean vodka. It's just... There are like probably a number of different sort of twists on a cocktail that you can make with something that has this sort of rice flavor. Maybe mix it with like a prominent sake, really get that rice taste out. Or maybe just sort of like do a classic, you know, vodka based drink, vodka lemonade, vodka Sprite. See what you can do with it. It does feel like it's better sipped than shot. Uh, you could definitely do a shot of it. I don't think there's any reason that you couldn't. It's not too expensive. It's not like you're really wasting much of it. It's just very nice and clean. 
on its own. I feel like Suntory's done a good job of uh, finding their own sort of twist on what vodka is, uh, but still keeping it vodka and making it very just nice and smooth. It's really good. A little bit sharper as a shot. You get the rice, but it's a little bit more stingy uh, than when you sip on it. So I definitely recommend sipping on it. If you're gonna go, you know, ahead and buy a dollar eighty vodka as opposed to whatever vodka the gods is like forty cents, something like that. Appreciate it a little bit more. Find a nice little cocktail for it. I'll see if I can find some right here for you. But I think it's worth it. I think it's worth a little twist. Um, to at least try it out and see, and see if you like it. So, thumbs up from me. Good job, Suntory. Uh, as always, let me know if there are alcohols you'd like to see me review. Uh, there are still some shot glasses available for purchase. I'm um, getting kind of low on those. See if I do another run or not. Depends on interest. Um, but please, drink responsibly. 